In the heart of the Asia-Pacific region lies the country of the Philippines. Its 7,100 islands are divided into three major island groups, Luzon, the Visayas, and Mindanao. The Visayas holds beautiful natural attractions like beaches, caves, mountains, and lakes, which make the region a major tourist destination. Long before the Spanish set foot in the country, the Visayas region already had strong trading ties with Asian merchants. This, followed by centuries of Spanish occupation and many years of American colonization, finds today's Filipino of Malay stock with a good sprinkling of Chinese, Spanish, and American blood. The original religion of the early Filipinos was animism, the worship of spirits, which featured rituals aimed at pacifying malevolent spirits. Today, 81% of the population of the Philippines is Roman Catholic, 5% are Muslim, 4% are Evangelical Christians, other Protestants make up 2% of the population. The Iglesia Ni Cristo comprises 3%, while Hindus and Buddhists make up less than 0.5% of people in the Philippines. Filipinos worship devoutly in their churches, mosques, and temples. Their faith finds expression in fiestas. Fiestas are celebrated as a form of thanksgiving to pay homage to the town's patron saint. In Cebu City, the feast of the Santo Niño is called Sinulog, the highlight being the procession of images of the Santo Niño. Christian and animist beliefs have blended together in a manner not only evident in special fiestas, it is a part of the Visayan's daily life. Even in the cities, supernatural beings and evil creatures like the Aswan, the Manananggal, and the Tikbalang are feared. The people's superstitious beliefs include wearing religious medals and amulets of cloth, stone, and metal every day to ward off evil spirits and protect themselves from harm. I was raised and I grew up as a Roman Catholic. I was introduced to novenas and to the different patron saints. And until I met a friend who had some kind of a devotion to a particular God, which is called uh, Santo Nino. So I brought that God into, into my home, invited people from the village. Is this really the true God? And it says here in Habakkuk 2 verses 18 to 19, what have you gained by worshipping all your man-made idols? How foolish to trust in something made by your own hands. What fools you are to believe such lies. How terrible it will be for you who beg lifeless wooden idols to save you. You ask speechless stone images to tell you what to do. Can an idol speak for God? They may be overlaid with gold and silver, but they are lifeless inside. But the Lord is in His holy temple. Let all the earth be silent before Him. Through the influence and activities of Bible-believing Christian groups, more Visayans are growing in the knowledge of Jesus Christ and in the salvation that is in Him alone. Still, the Visayans need your prayers. Pray that the strongholds of spirit worship will be overcome by the power of God. Pray that the unholy fear that drives them to appease these spirits will be replaced with the holy fear of a righteous and just God. Pray that the Visayans will come to know and trust Jesus Christ as the only source of salvation. Your prayers can and do make a difference.